My name is uh, Woodshop Edgar. I'm a soccer player. I play for Police FC in the Uganda Premier League. Uh, I started playing football when I was still young, when I was still in school. Yeah, however, my first team was called Mbale Heroes. Uh, then I joined Express FC. And after I joined Police FC in the Uganda Premier League, that's where I play now. I'm a central defender. There I can also play as a full back. I'm 19 years old. I think Patrick Kadu, because he's, he's quick, he's very quick, and he's very aggressive and good in the air. Although I haven't really, he hasn't really given me so much of hard time, though you have to keep alert all the time when you're defending him because he's very he's a box striker who is very quick so you have to be on the lookout for him all the time ah uh, i can't say he gives me a hard time but he's a very clever player he's very fast and he can shoot with very well with both legs so you also have to be uh, on your toes like 90 minutes so because any time he can give that spark, that spark of brilliance, where you have to be on a lookout all the time for him. Yeah, he's a very good player. He's very fast, very quick, and he can shoot. He has an eye for goal, Michael. Michael Virunj. Player that inspires me in Uganda, uh, Suleiman Ntiaba. Uh, he's, uh, he's a very good player. He's very well disciplined. And I think he's one of the most efficient players here because he, he uses, he, whenever he gets a chance, he buries it. So he has perfected his game that he gets the few chances and he finishes them off for a It's so, it so, as a very good game. Uh, it was new to me because I'd never played it before. But as I played it, I realized it's a very great game. Well, wow, we used to play less minutes because usually I used to play more minutes, play 45, then the rest, right? But this game is a game of 40 minutes, but those 40 minutes, it's like, it's like a lifetime because you play and there's no resting because it's, uh, it's five against five. It's like man marking someone like for all that time. You can't get out of position. You have to be conscious of your positioning. You have to be very fast, you have to be very fit, and you have to have the right technique, both shooting and defending. So it is a very nice game. It's a game I recommend for my fellow players. Uh, I think it is the way to go for professional soccer players. Uh, playing in the Futsal Super League, I played for a team called Equator FC. It's a very good team, it was organized. We met a number of teams, but I think the team that gave us the, the hardest challenge was called Crown, Crown FC. Uh, they were very organized and they were very comfortable on the ball, so you had to have every, to do everything right and in the right way. Playing alongside our captain, as called Hitman Omar. Yeah, he's, he's a player who I had played with at Express FC. He inspired me a lot. Police Football Club, uh, my new home. I, I, I play alongside uh, players like Sadat Chambade, who's, who's also our captain. Uh, there's Jose. Saint, Saint Tume, Joseph, uh, Enoch. Yeah, I think I really like playing for Police FC. Uh, I like the philosophy of the coach. Yeah, he, he has a style like that of Barcelona, where he, he supports ball playing. I, yeah, he prefers to play comfort on the ball and 
I really love playing that way. In our recent matches at Police FC, uh, we've played a couple of games. We played against my former employers, Express FC. We played against Ndeje, played against Chirinya, Jinja FC, against KCCA, the, the, former, the holders of the Uganda Cup, playing on the national team. Uh, I've, so far, I've had one engagement with the national team. My, my best player in the, uh, in the Uganda national team, I think it's I think Dennis Onyango, because he has been so consistent, both for club and country. He has done a lot for the country. Uh, David Luiz. David Luiz is very comfortable on the ball. He's a very good defender. And he also has an eye, a good eye for goal and set pieces. I'd love to play for Liverpool. Uh, that's my childhood team. And it's like a family team, so I'd like to play for Liverpool FC. My best coach uh, in the world, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's Guardiola, Pep Guardiola. Because of his style of play and his very inventive, has really invented a lot for the coaching industry. So, I'd go with Guardiola. And in Uganda, it's definitely Abdallah Mubino. Because of his style of play, yeah, Abdallah Mubino. I chose football as a way of life. I love football and I want to earn from it. I enjoy training every day and improving. I strive so hard to improve daily and I'm sure I'll make it. Uh, Uganda. Uganda is definitely the best in Africa. Yeah. It's been hard, but at least now we are seeing the light. Having qualified for the African Cup two twice in a row, it has a lot of talent, a lot of potential. I'm sure in years to come, Uganda will be everywhere. Argentina, I love Argentina, but <laughs> that's mostly because of my favorite player, Lionel Messi. He's the best player in the world, and all. And all of all time because he has he has really proved to the world and for many years he has a lot of consistency he has played for over 12 years and at top at top of his game like he's really my idol because there are games he comes and it looks impossible and what he does you can't even explain it so i'd go with Lionel messi any day any time she has been supportive but she was she was questioning it like she was like how can you choose soccer you can work anywhere you can get you jobs and what but i was like no i have to follow my heart and do what i love i'm sure i'm going to make it 
but she has always been supportive. Actually, many, many, so many people, my uncles, my aunties, all of them were questioning why would you choose soccer? Is soccer even a job? So it hasn't been easy. <laughs> it hasn't been easy. Uh, my best player in Africa, uh, Said Yomani, is my best player, and he also plays for Liverpool. So. I started studying in Bali, my primary level, it's a school called North Road Primary School. Uh, then I went to Usoga College Mwiri in Jinja uh, for my for my O level. Then for my A level, I went to Ntare School in Barara. Uh, balancing books and football wasn't so easy, but you just have to you just need to have the self drive and the determination. Because you can't, you can't just, you need education, you can't just say that I'm playing soccer. I don't think it's right to say I'm playing soccer because you need that knowledge in the future. Knowledge like uh, handling money, handling people. So I really, think, I really encourage my fellow players to not to dump their education. Yeah, you can do both, you can balance both. It will pay off, it will surely pay off. Currently I'm at campus, I'm pursuing a bachelor's degree in social sciences at Makere University. You can learn, you can earn a fortune from football. Just need discipline and determination. Yeah, when I'm given a chance to speak with the president of Uganda, uh, I would definitely ask for better infrastructure for for sports in general, because sports has a lot of potential in the country. There are so many sports, sportsmen, sportswomen, and they just need the infrastructure and the guidance. I'm sure we can do much better in all sports.